Hello, Professor Olashala. Um, <laughs> welcome to uh, Pestalozzi Life Preparatory School. Um, this is going to be a school tour uh, for building, designing our own school uh, project. And um, this is a school uh, built by um, Osmar, Alexis, and Maria. Um, so before we start with the tour proper, I'd like to give a special thanks to my uh, my friends Kyle and Joe uh, for helping me build all of all of this, and um, we'll also like to you know give a shout out for being on the board for having a tutorial for the exterior design of the school. Um, <clears throat> so once again, this is uh, Pestalozzi um, Life Preparatory School. So as we walk in here, you see we can see a security guard here for the for the gate. Um, as we enter the parking lot, in this parking lot, uh, it'll be mostly used for staff and faculty, uh, as well as um, you know, any high school students uh, over over there. Um, as you can see, there's there are three connected but separate buildings, um, each with their own proper entrances uh, for the students to to go to school um, so Pestalozzi uh, Life Preparatory School will be a school with the grades from pre-k to 12 um, so each building will have a designated uh, you know section so this the building on the left will be the primary school which will go all the way up to fourth grade I believe um, the this building right here in front of us will be the middle school, which will hold from fifth to eighth. Then that building over there will be the high school, which will be uh, from nine to twelve. So we'll start our little tour over at the primary school. So the reason why we chose uh, Pestalozzi um, Life Preparatory School as the name. Of our school um, is actually because <clears throat> we based it off of a philosopher. Um, his name is Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi. Uh, he was born in Zurich, which is a state in Switzerland, um, and he believed in freedom. Uh, he believed in children being able learning through activity as opposed to, you know, just being told definitions and that they should believe that they should have the freedom to pursue their own interests and you know be able to come to their own conclusions on what they want to do right um he had a very big emphasis on um sp being spontaneous and you know having the students be ha um you know direct themselves um uh this is, <clears throat> he uh uh Pestalozzi had this idea of have, of aiming to educate the whole children not just the educational side but you know just having them be functional uh, respectable you know uh, people uh, for society so so the uh, that that is the main reason why we chose Pesalazi, um for you know his philosophy and Zurich um, where he was born their flag is blue this light blue and white that's why you'll see a lot of blue and white uh, throughout the school, uh, just to you know to honor uh, where you know our, our our school patron. So as we walk in, we'll see the PLPS, and this is the same in every in every school. Um, so as we walk in, let us make our way over here and into the pre-K classroom. Um, so as you can see here. These are their little cubbies that they can use. And right over there is the teacher, the professor. Um, right? Everything is labeled. Uh, this is first grade. Right here's kindergarten. There's restrooms for the um, for the children. Right. <clears throat> um, so some one of the things that um. We want to offer to our students 
is essentially um, lots of uh, you know a lot lots of extracurricular um, courses. These courses can range from a variety of things like music um, to the arts um, to even um, a little bit of basic cooking. Uh, so as we can see here, here's the second grade. Right here's the bridge to uh, the middle school. Here's third grade. And so <clears throat> one of the things we did was um, put whole classrooms spread throughout the schools based off of, you know, um, these, you know, a variety of, of topics or interests um, for the students. Um, so right here is the main office. Right here's a conference room for the principal. There's a princi this is the principal's office right here. But there's uh, the principal. All right. Here's the waiting room. And then this is the cafeteria. This is the exit to the back. And uh, right here we have a science lab. A uh, little science lab for the children. So here's the cafeteria, the, the kitchen proper, and then here's the library. So, um, one of the things that um, our school wants to offer these children is, you know, inclusive classrooms, especially for students who might need special, um, uh, who might need special education. Um, that being said, we do understand that, like for some, for um, um, special special needs um students, there are times where they need to be in their own um, you know, private and safe space, uh, so that you know the uh, their 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 assistant or their teacher can help them out, um, you know, a, a place for them to um to keep calm, and so that's why we have um this room right here. Uh, it's a bit small. Uh, I, I I will admit, but um, it was all this, it's some of the space that we could do. Um, but this is just for them to calm down, not uh, not necessarily where they will be for um, for the whole day. So, and then right here we have home economics. Um, so we have it close here to the middle school sections because that's roughly the idea, like the time or the age group that we're uh, targeting for for home economics, um, per se, or like where we would offer the um these classes. Though we placed it here just for space, and it looks like right now they are learning how to bake a cake, which is nice. That's the fourth grade class. So as we go through here, more blue and white. Well, that goes back to the elementary wing. Right here we have another smaller science lab. Right here we have a seventh grade classroom, and here's the nurse's office. So one of the things that we wanted to do, or another class that we would like to offer, as well as make it more consistent, is at least once, um, at least like once or twice a month, the school nurses would go around and teach health class and um, first aid training uh, to the students. Uh, anything from just for the pre for the smaller kids, how to. Oops, how to apply um, uh, a band-aid, uh, for, for example, or um, for the older kids, you know, sex education um, and the like, um, as well as just to, you know, how to do CPR, because, uh, you know, it, that kind of stuff is important, and I feel like everyone, and we felt like everyone should learn how to do uh, something like that. Right here's the eighth grade classroom. Right there's the wing, the, bi the bridge to the uh, to the high school. We'll get to what's in the back uh, shortly. Um, then right here's the computer lab. Uh, and then this is the guidance office. Um, so especially here in New York City, where um, there's uh, middle schools tend to go, uh, or schools rather, they tend to go all the way up to eighth grade. Then there's like a separate you have to apply for a school to go to a high school. They would go here to seek guidance, or if there is, uh, for example, a need of a social worker or a, an actual like therapist, this would be kind of like the office that they would use. Um, 
Um, and I think, that, well, there's also another office, um, I believe it's in the high school wing, but this is just one of them, as well as like, um, uh, for college guidance would also happen here. And then this is the kitchen cafeteria where kids will come up, line up, grab food, and continue on. All right, so let's uh, go on. Let's go to this side. So here is just more classrooms. Over there is the bridge to the elementary wing, and then right here is the library. You know, the ability to have books um, of any, of a lot of any subject um, is, a, is 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 important, is invaluable. I know a lot of things can be you know put grabbed from the internet, but, you know, there's nothing like a good book to just, uh, you know, have physically there to read. And then here is the the main office for the middle school uh, wing. Here's the conference room. Go through here. Here's the principal's office. Um, so we would have uh, essentially three principals, uh, one for each uh, school. Uh, but, the you know, everybody would work collectively. Um, over to, towards the same goal of educating, uh, you know, or help educate these students. So, and last but not least, we'll go to the high school wing before we head outside. So here in the high school wing, <laughs> you'll notice that there are a lot of lockers, you know, just to help, you know, have the have have a, a space for kids to store um, their belongings since um, in high school, you know. Kids tend to not, students tend to not stay in one single classroom for the entire day. Um, so some of the courses that we would be offering here in the high school, um, and as well as middle school, uh, which I forgot to mention, would be like foreign languages, uh, finance literacy. Uh, how many times have, you know, even myself wondered how to balance a checkbook or even to just know how to budget for um for anything be it for a trip or vacation or to buy a book or a series of books um so hopefully with those classes um we can help teach these kids um another uh, important one, one another uh course uh we, we would um offer here at plps is um uh, coding introduction to coding at least we would start as early as middle school, uh, and that would just be so that, you know, uh, with computers and technology becoming ever so, you know, more important uh, in the classroom, especially, we would have it so that these um, these kids can be prepared, uh, you know, to, to to live in a world like that. So, yeah, that's why uh, these are all labeled as classrooms. Not specifically for some of them. Uh, you know, we would teach finance literature, uh, finance language, foreign languages. We would have ten um, that we would offer as early as the eight, as you know, as pre-K, uh, teaching them anything from German, German. Uh, so see, they're foreign languages, right? Teaching them German, Russian, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, um, and. We I think uh, we decided on ten, um, and they're like one of the, some of the ten uh, most uh, spoken uh, class uh, languages in the world. So here's a computer lab for the high schoolers, like I uh, mentioned before. So as uh, we go downstairs, see another cafeteria and a, and a lot of a lot a lot of locker still. Uh, right here's the kitchen proper. Just the right here's a library. The nurse's office. And then here's the office again. And then if we come over here we have the counselor's office. Uh, here we would have um, college counselors, therapists, guidance counselors, um, the whole nine yards to help students either with uh, applying for jobs, 
um, if they choose to not go to college or, you know, if they do choose to go um, down, you know, going to college, helping them apply for colleges, helping them, you know, uh, with uh, their essays and um, anything else that they would need, uh, they would get here for the high schoolers. But here's the teacher's lounge. Uh, this wouldn't house all the teachers. Uh, this would just be for the high school teachers. And um, this would just be for, you know, if students have any questions and their teachers are not teaching the class, they could come in here to help to find them and ask all the questions that they would need. And then this is the science lab. And since it is getting dark outside, I'm going to run so you got so that you can see professor how uh, the, the school would look like during the nighttime I'm pretty pleased with how the school looks it's really well lit the parking lot looks amazing right. so um, as we go out here you'll notice that there's a football field we will, you know, there will be sports, um, and this goes into, you know, where the school would be located. Um, I believe we decided on anywhere uh, with where there's like, you know, there's an open, there's enough, air, you know, a big enough area to house all of this. Um, obviously, we wouldn't probably need the football field, but we just thought that it would be nice to look at. But anything where it would be. You know, open and spacious, probably like in the suburban area of Queens. But we decided that uh, we would like it if you know, if it was there was an ease of easy access to it from the city, so that we wouldn't just have the kids in the suburbs or in, in the Queens area to go to our school. But anyone in the city that can get to it can can apply and get in. And here we have a concession stand too. Oh, that's neat. I noticed that. And so here we have the gym. Um, this gym will be for all, all three schools, but it can be split up uh, due to the, you know, the inability to show it. Uh, there would potentially be like a curtain or like a foldable wall that we would have here to split this up. Uh, so right here we have like a basketball court and a volleyball court. Um, and here would also be uh, when there's not gym happening, uh, or you know during the uh, during the you know the springtime or when it's getting close to the summer, this would also be the place uh, where like art classes can happen, dance classes will happen. Otherwise, it would have um, those types of classes will happen over there, which is the theater or the auditorium as well. So this is the the theater, the stage. Oh, uh, looks like we just missed the uh, production of the Three Little Pigs. Oh, there's the, there they are. I wonder if they're gonna do anything. I don't think they are. Huh. Yeah. So this is the the the, the auditorium. Um, if we go back here, this is where essentially. Oh, hello. Um, you know, we would have kids learn about the arts here. Uh, as well as you know, uh, acting classes, acting club, drama clubs. Uh, we really want to have uh, this whole, you know, the educating the whole child, not just you know science and the math, which is important, but you know, that it's not the only thing there. So we have sign. And if we go in here, we will see backstage. We'll see the green room. And there's the women's locker room. I really can't go in there, my guy. But if we go in here, with the men's locker room. See the outfits. All their, uh, you know, all the costumes and stuff. Um, personally, this is one of my favorite rooms just because I used to be a little theater nerd uh, back in high school. So this is this was really cool for me to see and build as well. So if we go back. Now, and that is 
the end of our tour. Um, we could end up back here. Um, there are exits in the gym slash theater um, auditorium to get to whatever, whichever you know, um, school you would need to go to. And um, yeah, so this is uh, Pestalozzi uh, Life Preparatory School. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll just leave you with this nice view as uh, the sun as the sun rises on a brand new school day.